We begin with that dramatic fall, a bombshell decision from a man who was once one of the most powerful men in Washington, former Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert, and a move that could keep his secrets from coming out in open court, signaling he will plead guilty in a criminal case. Prosecutors accusing Hastert of paying hush money to hide misconduct. That misconduct going back decades to his time as a high school teacher and popular wrestling coach. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross on Hastert's move, the prison time he might now face, and the family tonight saying the truth is out. Mr. Hastert. The decision today by 73-year-old Dennis Hastert to plead guilty means there will be no trial and none of his dark secrets will be exposed in open court. Mr. Speaker. But in exchange, the former Speaker of the House, once second in line to the presidency, may spend time in prison, the first Speaker ever to do so. The charges against Hazard grow out of his role as a popular Illinois high school wrestling coach in the 1970s. Authorities say Hazard sexually abused several teenage boys on the team and then a few years ago began to pay one of them more than a million dollars in hush money to keep quiet. These boys were 14, 15, 16 years old. Jolene Burge told ABC News her late brother, Stephen Reinbold, was one of Hassard's victims, something she learned years later, she says, when her brother told her he was gay. I asked him, Stevie, when was your first same-sex experience? I mean, he just looked at me and said, it was with Dennis Hastert. And I just, I, I know I was stunned. I said, why didn't you ever tell anybody, Stevie? I mean, he was your teacher. Why didn't you ever tell anybody? And, he just looked at me and said, who is ever going to believe me in this town? Who is ever going to believe me? For years, Jolene Burge tried to expose what Dennis Hazard allegedly did. And today, she said, even if there is no trial, the world now knows what kind of a man Dennis Hazard is. He'll plead out um, and try to make this go away as quickly as he can. And he can do that, but the truth is out. Authorities say what tripped up Hazard was the recent effort to pay off his victim. He's charged with violating bank laws for the way he handled his huge cash withdrawals and then lying to the FBI about them. He's expected to plead guilty to one of those two counts, either one of which, David, usually results in time behind bars.